Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we're back in Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, this is a continuation off of yesterday. So, um, I thought of something while I was walking back. Uh, oh, by the way, the uh, rocks fell back down on me. Um, a really quick... Oh, okay. There. I can prove that I'm still in the same game, because that's the little thing that we were seeing earlier. Um, I thought of this. A really fast and easy way to like look around the map would be grab some TNT and blow yourself up <laughs> like whichever way your head goes flying you should be able to get like an aerial aerial view of <laughs> the things I'm gonna test it out real quick <laughs> just for fun so quick way to search areas <laughs> hey Saranok hey code uh, can you lower the bridge for me, buddy? <laughs> it's a deal. All right. <clears throat> By the way, I think that's just a palm over there. So, um, if this is your first time watching one of my episodes, uh, this is a continuation off of yesterday's episode, so, or today's episode, whatever. Uh, I might have two episodes in one. Who knows? Uh, I was supposed to go and play um, Wonder Song, but. I kind of just want to play Lumber, so I'm going to do that instead. I might play Lum or Wonder Song tomorrow. The kids have really been wanting to play, so I'm thinking about letting them sit down and just play. Um, we do have the family share thingy, so as long as I wasn't recording or I was wanting to play at the same time as they were, we should be able to share. Oh, uh, that also goes for anybody that uses Steam. Um, if, like, say, parents, you have your own games, kids, you have games, or vice versa, um, you can share those by logging in with each other's accounts and doing the family share. Um, it's not the exact way to do it, but there's a way to authorize a computer to um, share things share games. Um, me and Hope did that with um, not fall, Human Fall Flat we had to buy two copies of because we both played at the same time. But like Portal, um, my daughter's played Portal before. My son loves Portal, but I'm the only one that bought it and shared it with them and they're my kids. So we have a, a family share kind of thing. It's cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Anyhow. Um, also, if you have not gone and at least tried to make your own game or your own place, I highly recommend you do that. Because it's fun. It's fun just to learn the building tools and sit down and learn like how to build one of these trees. You know, um, These trees are procedurally grown, which basically means there's a script that keeps track of each one of their growths and keeps track of like how big they are and stuff like that. Uh, now, it might just be a generator and each tree has its own scripts inside. I don't know the details. I've never I've never looked at the script itself or the code of Lumber. Which, by the way, um, there are a lot of copies out there. And, I mean, if you just search Lumber Tycoon, there are so many copies of this game. Alright. So let's see if this works. Uh, I might get my axe further away. There we go. And let's take the TNT right over here. Like that. Are we far enough away? Yeah, we should be far enough away. I'm going to try and position my head right over the top of it. And here we go. Now watch. The camera should follow the head. Wait, what? What? That did not work at all. <laughs> Maybe I need to set two pieces of TNT off at two different times. One to blow me up and then the other one to shoot shoot the head off somewhere, maybe. Hmm. 
I'll try. Might as well. I'm waiting for the boat. Whoa, whoa. The boot. Where's the boot at? Come on, Hoover. Maybe standing on top of it doesn't work either. Let's do this. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Boop -a -doo. Now if I set this one off, and then I wait a second, and I set that one off, let's see. Wait, no, no! Oh, oh no! No! Oh, that... Quick code, <laughs> reload so it doesn't save. Oh no, what a mess. <gasps> okay, that, that was kind of funny. <laughs> so what happened was the TNT got blasted back with the other TNT. Oh, and I lost my I lost my other TNT box. Oh no, I didn't, there it is. Oh gosh, <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am gonna need an axe, dude. Where did these come from? Wait, are those my axes that sit up there? I think those. Yeah. Here, let's put these inside just so they don't get lost. Come here. <laughs> all that organizing, all that planning, all all of it ruined one piece of TNT. That's all it took. <laughs> wait, 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 I need, I need this. Gimme. No, oh, I need to switch that slot. There we go. I don't even know what I'm gonna call the episode. Just messing around with TNT. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's not do that again, Code. That was, that was a bad deal. Uh, Hoover's not back yet. We would still play with some TNT. Maybe. I don't think there's any intense trees growing anywhere that I can see. Not that I can see the silhouette on or anything. Oh, hello tree. Okay. Let's do this while we wait. Uh, do -do 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 Let's chop a tree. Grab. Bring you over here. And let's chop up a whole bunch of wood blocks. This will be fun. Whoa, maybe. What? What? Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks like sliced bread. <clears throat> oh, that's something I can do. Um, I don't know if I've ever explained how the mechanics of the trees work. Like um, when you're chopping them. So, what it does, it gets a mouse pointer and detects where you clicked an object. <clears throat> and then it creates a a part that is like 0.5 by so long in that part each time you chop in the same spot it will get bigger and bigger and bigger which is supposed to be a rep representation of how much damage it's done in that one spot up to the tree so once you actually cut a part so like this right here this is actually um, two parts this is one part long and then this part in the middle is actually the whole length as well. So when you chop like that, the original part disappears and two new parts of equal length of wherever you were chopping at appear. It happens really fast, like super fast. So this right here, this is one part. All right, uh, technically it's three parts. It's the, uh, the bark, 
the inner core, and then the chop mark. That's three parts. And if you want to get real technical, it's four parts because the blue ball is actually a part as well. So we chop it again, and new parts. So that's uh, that's also how the whole duplica duplication glitch thingy happens. Like, for example, whenever um, me and the other guy were chopping wood on my base, and you guys saw the the wood the 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 wood duplicate. No, the 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 wood duplicate. That was because of um, lag spike right here and right here, right? I chopped one, he chopped at the other end at the same time. Well, both of us were able to send the signal at the same time. So m on my side, I got this sliver and this whole piece. And on his side, he got this sliver and that whole piece. So it looked like duplication. Technically it wasn't. I mean, could have been. Just, just a second, Hoover. I'm, I'm kind of busy. Even if we were to get on the bus and, or not, the battle bus. Get on the battle bus of Fortnite. Even if we were to get onto the boat right now, it's still like seven minutes. So I'm just gonna keep chopping away. Thank you for the sub or the follow or whatever that was. I heard the sound. chopping anymore. Do we chop all of these? Oh yeah, they're chopped. There we go. Um, basically it's going to be like a tree cannon, tree fe tree fetty cannon, but small, small st scale, just a little, little scales. That's all. There we go. Chop, 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 chop. I'm ready for Halloween. I'm ready for the end times axe to be available again. gonna record like oh by the way last year I had a bunch of people going wait how did you do that it's um, November 3rd I recorded like two or three episodes on Halloween that's how I got the two or three episodes in that week so and I I'm, will probably do the same thing this year it's only like 15 minutes to get the, uh, the end times axe so Okay, I think I've got enough chops. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Okay. Let's push these right like that. Push these like that. All right, that, that'll work. Here we go. Please be awesome. Please be awesome. Please be awesome. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. <laughs> Go back and do slow-mo. Go back and do slow-mo code. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm ready to get sailing. Hey, hi, I run this fair. Um, well, when do you run next? Five minutes and 24 seconds. Well, Hoover, I would like to purchase a ticket, please. I'll buy a ticket. <clears throat> Thanks, we'll be on our way soon. Sweet. So we got five minutes to hang out. Should I go grab some TNT? I don't know why you'd need to, Code. There's nothing to blow up over on the other side. Yeah, but you know, just take it over there for fun, maybe? Yeah, why not? I'm in a TNT mood. Oh, oh, there we go. Hello, Serenok. It's a deal. Thank you, sir. 
It's a nice, relaxing, easy day. Just hanging out in lumber. And these, these are the days that I like, where it's, I'm not rushing to show an update. I'm not rushing to like appease a whole bunch of people. I'm just playing and hanging out. Now I do wish I were in a public server, but that's. That's just because I'm very social. I like being social with you guys and hanging out. Um, there is a reverse to that. Um, I'm also a very selfish person because like on Fortnite, I don't want to have to wait for you guys. So you, a lot of you ask that we play duos and that we play squads and stuff like that. I, as, I really don't like having to wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna get more. We're gonna get more. Two more. At least. Come on. Two more. Two more. There's one. Boop. And two. You're such a fast stalker, Bob. Hit <laughs> you just called me a stalker? No, I meant stalking the shelves, Bob. That's... Oh. Y yes. <laughs> stalker. Uh, wrong term. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you. And out the window. <laughs> Just put it through here, Bob. All right, there we go. <laughs> That's not an exit. <laughs> Whatever. Bye, Bob. Take a quick peek, just in case something grew while we were traveling over in the winter biome. I don't think anything did. Hmm. Um, I know I've asked this comment before, but I haven't seen anybody respond to it. Does... Uh, has anybody found a spooko tree in a private server? Uh, I know one person said that they were searching around for like nine hours in a private server and couldn't find one. But I mean, it could just be luck. Like, you could find one loaded in by your base next to with our us on the road next to the um, land store. Like, there's a lot of different places it could possibly be. But for us, that's a cherry tree. Palm, 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 palm. No end times over on this side. Wait, did I just say end times? <laughs> I didn't mean end times, I meant spook wood. And sinister wood. Which, I have never seen a sinister wood out in the game. So, sinister wood is black, just like the spook wood. But, when you chop it open, it's bright orange. It's the bright orange color. That's the difference. Somebody was saying, isn't the isn't the sinister tree a bright orange color all over? No, it's it's black as well. So I have seen one. It's like three years ago though. Huh. That was a long time ago. Hold on. Hey Hoover, how long, buddy? Cause I, I can't wait too long. When do you run next? Two minutes and ten seconds, dude. I thought you said like five minutes ago. Okay. Um, back up, take a quick look at the... What is that? Is that... Is that spook wood right there? What is that? I think that's a shadow. Yeah, it's just a shadow. See that? Up the other way. Anything up there, guys? 
If you happen to see it, or if I've missed it completely, just timestamp. Um, if you type in the time that you saw it into the chat, or sorry, not chat, in the comments down below, like two colon three zero, that's two minutes and 30 seconds, um, it will actually create a hyperlink when you click on it to go to that exact point inside the video. So if there's a highlights reel or if there's a funny part that you want me to see, like, haha, that was so funny, and then you timestamp right there, I can click on that and see what you were talking about. And others can too. So it'll take you to that exact point in the video. Don't know if you guys knew that about YouTube or not, but there you go. <sighs> Two minutes to sit and wait. Code, why don't you ever edit your videos? Because, I mean, this is, this is real. This is, this is how it works. Like this right here. Um, other videos you might see a time lapse. Other videos you might see like somebody chop this part out completely. Not me. And it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I, I really don't have time to take a video that I've recorded, go through, chop it all up, put it all back together, recompile it, and then upload it. Um, for those of you that are asking, the intro and the outro, that's all recorded live. So I, I literally, I've got shortcut keys to like start recording, play the intro, once the intro is out, I hit another shortcut key and it fades in my face. I turn on the microphones and the desktop audio and we're off. And then at the very end, when you guys see the, the outro and I say outro, I hit the button again or I have Steven hit it. Steven hits it. I hit the, the magic button and the outro plays and then I have another button that transitions over and it does the Hello Juniper. And then that's it. That's the, uh, that's the whole spiel. Oh, come on, Hoover. Did it take me two minutes to explain that? I hope not. Uh, when do you run next, dude? 15 seconds. Oh, gosh. Oh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mm -mm. Ooh, ooh. Hoover. Ooh, ooh. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> Maybe I counted too fast. That or time is time is stretched in this video. For every second, it's actually one second and thirteen milliseconds. Just kidding. All right, so I don't see any spook wood on Palm Island right there. Let's see if we can see it as we travel around the peninsula. We'll also be looking at the other Palm Islands just in case. I don't think it would appear over there, but it could. Come on, Hoover. What are you doing, dude? There he goes, and we're off into the wild blue yonder sailing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, that's that's airplanes. Do 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 do. We're on a boat. Hey, look, guys. There's boats and lumber. Just kidding. It's 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 a ferry. A ferry is a boat, though, right? We are looking for spookwood. No spookwood on that Palm Island. No spookwood that I can see across the tops of these. Spookwood over there? Nope. And that was a palm very far out. I don't need the chat on. Again, this is private server. No sign of spookwood. Yet. Yet. There could be somewhere. Alright. Woo! Come on. There we go. Let's 
go up here, take a quick look around. the trees at all. Not that I can tell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's two trees in one. Okay. I'm like, that is a humongous koa. Koa tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't run into trees, Code. What are you doing? Link, have you seen any Spookwood, ma'am? Have you seen Spookwood? No? All right. Yeah, our volume's up. I was worried that I didn't have any volume there for a second. Got two 30-minute episodes, no sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anything down through here? No. No. Alright. Off to the caves to do some exploring. Once we cover the caves, we have covered pretty much everywhere. Alright. For those of you that have not gone and checked out the map, there is a great map on the Wakia page. Shows you how to move around inside here. I should probably turn on some filters because I have to be viewing a very long distance. All right, so let's do this. Let's go. Blink. No, not like that. Perfect. Studio mode. And Roblox game. Right click filters. Chroma key is now on. Let's turn up some brightness. Some big contrast. There we go. <clears throat> That's good. Close. Now it looks a little stretched out, but that's okay. Okay. Where's, uh. Okay, there's the ramp. Taking a right. What happens if I go right again? That just leads back to like a little closed off area, right? Or wait, does this lead to the uh, teleport? Where does this lead? Oh, that leads to the back side of the caves. Alright, so this is over on the opposite side where the uh, paint shop is. Want to get lost down in these things like I'm doing right now? That's okay, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. That turns like this, and this right here, this little S pattern. This is going to the back sides of the caves over where the paint shop is in that back area. Yep, there we are. Alright, this should be a dead end. Maybe not. What in the world? I don't think there's no new areas down here. Uh, somebody was also asking, Hey, there's somebody that says he lost his boat shop. He could have sworn his boat shop was down here somewhere. Is this new? No, that has been here for quite some time. It's been here a while. So that is not something new. Whew, it is dark though. I can't see for poop. We're almost at 30 minutes. All right, that's the T-shape. So we're technically in like the top right hand side of the map. If you're following along with the map. Ow, my legs. <laughs> Been a been a thirty minute episode already, man. 
Just waiting for the boat takes forever. That's usually why I like start the episodes over here on this side. That way you guys don't have to wait for it. <sighs> that, that leads back to where we were. This gets us lost. Just kidding. Need to cover every square inch of this place to make sure that there's no spook tree down here. I guess if you're on Xbox, ooh, paint shop. Is that the paint shop? Maybe. No, not the paint shop. If you're on Xbox, the, the lighting is messed up, so you, you can just come straight down here and not get lost. Here's the paint shop. Hello. Hey, buddy. Hi, Timothy. Oh, it's so bright. It's bright, bright, bright. It's so bright. Any new paintings? Let's see what we got. Pineapple. How much is that for? Oh, that's a lot. That's actually... I spent two million, didn't I? What? Whoa. So, new paintings. Also, the, um... The frame on one of these looked very suspicious. Like it's got little indent thingies on it. I always wonder if there's hidden things inside the pictures, inside the picture objects themselves. Oh, sorry, it, it's completely bright. You guys can't see anything. I'm so sorry. I'll head back into the caves. My bad. Uh, if you want to see how we get back, we take a left, then a right, then a left, then a right, 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 right. And that's the entrance. Here. Auto walk. <clears throat> Auto walk. The maze today. Get your booty on the floor tonight. Make my day. Auto walk. Sorry. It's actually an old school song. <laughs> Alright. Head this way. If you do find yourself getting lost down here, it's okay to reset. Um, now, if you have a truck full of blue wood and you get lost, good luck. Alright, do you see how the ceiling looks different right there? That's usually how I can tell, like, the left in the paint shop. But that's neither here nor there. That's over there. Uh, this right here actually just leads in a little circle for the um, the seventh door and the seventh door is coming up our left do, do, do. so you would go down that way for doors six and seven turn right and up here there's a little H entrance right here that leads to the center part of the caves maze. Uh, if you turn right, follow this, it's going to go up. It's going to, it's going to go up. And that's the entrance out. Oop, oop, oop. Come on around. I'm so used to driving in a truck, I'm like, ah, just turn here, it'll be fine. That's the entrance out. <clears throat> Our truck should be up here. We're going to take a right. And follow along. Follow along. Follow along. La 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 long. And then take a left. And then another right. And that's our truck. So, I'll go grab the truck. I'll run the maze real quick. See which entrance is open for you guys. And then you can go and get some blue wood if you want. Yay. Hopefully we find spook wood. Because, I mean, that it's kind of the point of why I was recording. Was to go find spook wood, but... I mean, we're already at 34 minutes. And it's late. It's so late for me. Whew. There we go. A little, little bit tired. A little tired. Alright, we can't go straight. It just gets us lost, right? Maybe we can. Ooh. Oh no, that's the, that's the teleport. 
That takes us to, um, to what's it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. There you go. This right here? This takes us over to the Savannah, Savannah, Sahara? It's a the non, not tropical, but it's uh, across the bridge over on the mainland. So, if you ever wanted to, like, um, do a blue wood run and have one of your buddies stay over on the other side, you stay over on this side. Just collect up the wood, chop it, throw it in there. He can collect it on the opposite side. Just use a long plank to get up to the, the hole. There you go. Wait. I've never had TNT down here before. What happens if I use TNT? I mean, I don't think it's going to do anything. Right? Shouldn't do anything. Nothing. Okay. It was worth a shot. I mean, might as well. Right. Heading back. Ooh, turn, 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 turn. There we go. <clears throat> turn right, then right, then left, and right we go. Now we should be able to go up here. Go straight all the way down. Take a right. This kind of fish hooks around to the top. We should see door number one or open path. Oh, door number one. Perfect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta check all the little spots, don't I? For spit tree. There's nothing in there. That's okay. So then... Look right over here. This is the fish bone. Or, not the fish bone, the, uh... Lucky rib bone. Alright, so this kind of comes up like this and then zips over like that. Door number two, right here. I'm gonna take a look, peek down here. Nobody. Nobody, nobody. Uh oh. Zip, 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 zip. There we go. Door number three, right there. Bottom of the, uh, the wishbone. Path over to the little H area. That's the H area right here. Uh, I call it the H area because it's the inner part of the maze and then like the main entrance of the maze right here, right? Uh, we're gonna head south. That's the path to the paint shop in the back side of the maze. Like there's only one other way to get back there and that's down here, but I'll show you that in a second. All right, here we go. This right here, I'm not gonna take a car down there. This is the area to get lost in. Like this is the area I tell you guys, avoid this at all times. Because this is like, this will get you lost. Go straight across here and you can find door number five, four and five. So there's four. And then door number five is right around this corner. So, one of the reasons we uh, don't go down here, in fact, I'm, I'm not going to take my car down here, is because of how zigzaggy it is. Like, it zigzags like crazy, and cars and trucks and trailers will just get stuck down here. We can walk it real quick, though. We're at 39 minutes of the thing. There should be uh, two people down here, right? I don't remember which one's which, though. Huge S pattern just to find a dead end. Hello. Hello, person who I don't remember the name of. I feel so sorry that they're stuck down here. Hey, Slam. 
<laughs> what happens if I talk to him like a billion times? Oh, wait. What happens if I use TNT on him? <gasps> Let's go get some TNT. Might as well, right? For fun. For experiment. We should use some TNT. I don't want to drive the whole thing either. Because, like, I don't want to get stuck. It's so scary getting stuck down here. Does it look like I'm... I'm it looks like I'm not looking at the screen. Here, let me switch sides over here. There we go. Whoa, that looks really stretched. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, now it looks like I'm looking at the scene. Perfect. Mm. If you're trying to follow along with the map and stuff, I know I go down a lot of different paths, and I turn the camera a lot. So I'm sorry for getting you lost. Um, should I try? I'm, I'm gonna try it. Why not? Walking just takes too long sometimes. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Nice and easy. Oof. Oof. I'm not going to be able to drive this back out, am I? Okay, we're just we're just going to park right here. That's that's as far as I'm willing to drive it. I'm probably worried stuck. That's okay. <laughs> hey, Slam, buddy. Got a present for you. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles. Nothing. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Slam. Funny guy. Funny, funny. Uh, now I think the uh, the other guy's down the other path, right? Maybe. Oh gosh! Turn, turn up! I did not turn it fast enough. There. We go. All right. You might hear my keyboard. I'm going crazy with it right now. Check out them skills. Skills! Okay, get away from the wall code. Oof. Okay, that's the main entrance back out, so. Do I want to try and risk this? Is a really sharp turn. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Nope, 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 nope. We'll just take it down to him. Come on, buddy. Mm, wait, where is he? What? Where are you? You were not down the hole. Where did he go? Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Maybe. Oh, that's the right spot. Okay. So, like, door number four. Door number five. Alright. And if we head back this direction. Ooh, 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 ooh. Long hallway. Turn to the left. Door number seven is right there. Door number six should be right here. So. It is Tuesday night, Wednesday day. So that means it's a Wednesday and all the paths are closed. Now, here's something I usually don't show you. Over here, that is the path to get to the, the paint shop. And this little path right here will put you out right next to the entrance and the path to go to uh, six and seven, and four and five. So, we've been through most of the maze, the, pretty much the entire maze. Let's 
go. Hmm. So private server. Again, if you have your own private server, if you've been inside private servers, let me know in the comments. Are there spook trees in private servers? I need to know. Tweet, tweet it to me as well. Twitter. Twitter, Twitter stuff. Tweeters. Um, let's turn off. I know, I'm blinding everyone. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I don't want properties. Go right click. Filters. Filters. Color correction off. Perfect. Close. Now, we should be able to go back into studio mode. Glorious. Maximize this screen. Haha. -ha. I do say, a good adventure deserves an next. Um... If you liked the the video, please drop a, a like, you know, and comment down below what you liked about it, you know. If you didn't like the video, um, go ahead and drop a like and um, comment down below what you didn't like about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Talk to you very soon. Our quest for Spookwood still continues all through the month of October. I want to see them. If you've got them, if you found them, take a picture of them. Take a screenshot. Hit the, hit the print screen button and send it out to Twitter. I will retweet them. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro. Oh, wait, I got to do the, the fast button, don't I? There it is.